Welcome to another video from Dr. Locke. The other day we did a video on this uh, super special welding rod here. It can be used for brazing aluminium and we started testing it on what it's going to do for keys and how it's brazing. We did test it on a restricted key and it seemed to braze up very well and bring the key blank back to a blank. So I was going to test it today on two, two brass keys and I was just going to basically see if I could fill them, then we'll dunk it in water, see what type of strength we can get. Alright, so for this I'm using uh, this one. Let's turn this on. It's quite a big flame. So this gets pretty hot pretty quick. Okay, that did not take long at all. And I could see it clearly, clearly um, running between the two. So just turn the gas off, make sure that's good. And of course it's going to be super, super hot. So now I'm going to take this out. Make sure, uh, do this very carefully. Okay, the vice will still be hot as well. All right. Yeah, it's cold now. Okay, so I can see that that joined both the keys like welding them. The temperature was right, the join was right. So now here's the big, here's the big question, right? Because we were looking at it as if I wanted to repair a key or put a key back together. It's not the ideal brass welding solution or brazing solution, but for what we use it for, for nickel silver and all these sorts of things, to me it seemed quite interesting about how it could stick these two things together or be used to braze things up. So let me get the vice grips on it and let's see how we go now. See how strong that is. Ready? Two keys. All right. I'm going to pull it back this way. Okay. Starting to get a little bit of separation there. Okay. So yes, we were able to separate it without uh, breaking the key. But very interestingly, I'll just zoom in on it. Can focus in on that you can see that it's uh, conformed to the whole shape so it is pretty much just like an aluminium um, weld if you if you like but it does stick to things so when you're brazing up some type of key or uh, if you're brazing up some type of key or um, just doing a small repair on something you know you probably would get away with a lightweight aluminium braze which is what that kind of is and if you're using it to repair a particular type of key you might get away with it for a little while it's not going to be as good as the nickel silver or pure brass um, but it's it's doable and this this stuff here you know it's like um, it's pretty good it's it's very easy to use very quick and you saw how quickly it worked so um, that's what it does to a key and now we know by brazing it I put that much braze on it kind of uh, what strength was involved in pulling it apart Okay, thanks for watching.